All right, we're here with Greybush. Hello, Greybush. Hey. Show us your warband. Alrighty. Well, these are the Grey Walkers. Mm -hmm. My undead warband. Uh, it's centered mostly around having a strong uh, defensive line with zombies, with a good movement on them, backed by two necromancers and uh, two thralls. All right. Most all right. of them. And we'll start off with a leader, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, Go, here ahead. We've got, Go ahead. Here we've got the nice leader. Is Eric Grayskin. And as you can see, he's uh, very focused on uh, high melee defense. Indeed. He's got a strong blow just to add a little extra punch when needed or when opportunities uh, pop up. And defensive stance to increase the melee. Mm -hmm. Or melee resistance, rather. And a normal terror, of course. Shield specialist, armor proficient to keep movement up but still have high armor. Uh, and a crit resist with body reconstruction because. Well, I really don't want uh, that armor being uh, invalidated by crits. Yeah. I can and see awareness that. to round it off. All right. Okay. There we go. Solid, gu solid guy. Powerhouse. Yeah. Ne yeah. <laughs> and the next one is uh, Penny, which is actually named after my girlfriend. <laughs> so if you kill her, I'll be pretty upset. <laughs> okay. Uh. They're basically built around uh, the same idea, uh, just with some uh, more utility modifications. Uh, they've got the strong blow, uh, mm -hmm. defensive stance, and they also have insult in case someone else shows up with the uh, melee resist heavy units. And uh, jaw strike, just to keep those uh, spellcasters uh, in check. Yeah, it's a nice twist. I like it. And of course, normal fear, crit resist. Shield Specialist, Awareness, and Hardy for extra tankiness. Yeah. Hmm. And the next thrall follows okay. uh, exactly the same. Same skills. Basically same setup. All right. And then you have two Necromancers. Yes. Plus a Necromancer we have the... in the zone. Yeah. There we have the first Necromancer, Alexander. He's mostly focused on uh, keeping everyone buffed up. And naturally. Oh, oh no, I, wait, I, actually, that's the other one. This guy's focused on uh, a bit more utility and damage. Yeah, okay, I can see so that. So he's uh, got the introspection. You know, standard. Maybe need an extra spell or risk a few extra spells. Mm -hmm. Web of Steel, and he's built for uh, melee, so he can hold his own. At least for a round or two, maybe. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and warp attunement, of course. Then there's uh, channeling, improved casting. And I threw on embedded word stones just to take advantage of uh, warp attunement. Yeah, it's a nice combo. Yeah, so if I can get him uh, to a nice little cluster of, of uh, word stones, he can uh, grab up a few and start really throwing out spells. Hmm. And he's got strength nine for uh, extra carry capacity. Um, yeah, that, that that won't be, take any effect though, since consumables are not allowed in the tournament. Ah, well, okay, never mind then. <laughs> okay, and uh, what spells did you pick for him? Uh, well, I put uh, Arcane Study 2 to really pump him full of spells. Mm -hmm. So we uh, we skipped past Rotten Touch, but uh, we went for Heart Failure. Maybe Ooh. to uh, slow down some of the bigger units a bit. Yeah, indeed, indeed. And of course, Call of Van Hell to back up the buffing. Yeah. Warp, warp overcharge, so we can uh, lay down some uh, some extra damage. Yeah. And corpse flesh. All right, all right. So we can uh, buff up, uh, among other things, uh, my leader. Yeah. Get that little extra armor boost. I like warps on overcharge. Did you know that it's it, it's uh, a little bit bugged? It is. Yeah, it does more damage than you think. It does between 60 to 70 damage. That's nice to know. Yeah, you can only use uh, one per target though, so it's more of a spread the damage kind of spell. But So you can't stack them on uh, a single target. But you, yeah. yes, the 60 to 70 makes it the most damaging spell in the game. Yeah. Well, that's nice. 
Yeah, something right going then. wrong. Right. And uh, here's the S other one, Marcus. Sidestep and expert casting him. Yep. He's uh, I've thrown everything into toughness and agility just to keep him a bit maneuverable. Because mm -hmm. he's uh, my main buffer. So he's got uh, channeling, expert casting, improved casting, and again, embedded word stones. All right, all right. And spells are rotten touch, just so he can uh, do some damage if he doesn't have to buff. And uh, Call of Van Hell, of course, and Idol of Death. Because hmm. I want to take advantage of Fair and Terror. Are you going to use the last two spell points for something? I might find something to uh, just stack on top, maybe uh, Doom. Okay, yeah, you, you need to declare which spell you're going to use, everyone knows. When you're training Let's it see. up, so if you you can already decide now. Yeah, you know what? We'll just go with uh, an extra heart failure. Oh, sorry, yeah, a, a heart failure. It's just goes, it's, why not? Yeah, yeah, it still has the same power. It's just uh, uh, just a little bit less likely to hit, and you can stack them on top of each other as well. So yeah, right. And there's the first zombie. All right. All right. And like I said, they're built as a sort of shield wall. Yeah. So they, well, they have strong blow again for taking advantage of openings and just spe basically spending the points. Web of Steel and Adrenaline Rush on this one. Mm -hmm. So we can uh, also throw out an extra attack if needed. Yeah. It's a very common, it's... commonly used yeah. skill. Almost everyone has it. Yeah. I realized I was probably lacking a bit in uh, how much damage I could throw out, so so I gave uh, two of them a Dremel Rush. Okay, nice. And of course the standard zombie uh, skills. And there's Flash Parry, Hardy, and Knowledge Mordime. So if oh. we can't buff them, they can still move a bit more than just the four meters. Indeed, yeah. And there's zombie number two. He's exactly the same. Except he has jaw strike. Again, to uh, limit the uh, casters. Yeah, it's a nice surprise to spring on someone. Yeah, very annoying. Yeah, it can be very annoying. <laughs> uh, unless, it's... Uh, yeah, unless it's a doom weaver. Yeah, but even uh, they, even them, they they don't they don't really like the uh, minus casting chance. Yeah, true. Uh, yeah, here's uh, another one with the jaw strike. All right. And uh, again, person. the same. Yeah. The same build up there. Uh, let's see if we can find the last one. Ah, there we are, the last two. They have swift charge instead. Hmm. So two jaw strike, two swift charge, and yep. one strong blow. Yeah. Hmm. Well, actually, these have strong blow too, so. Oh, yeah, yeah, they do. All right, yeah. I they see. have a slight little mix, so it's uh, so they are not all clones. Yeah. Just so I have some options. Yeah, that's good to have. Always nice to have. Uh, and like I said, he's pretty much exactly the same. So that basically rounds out uh, the entire warband. Uh, you had, warband two, you, by, you had, uh, you had yeah. two reserves as well. Two accidental reserves <laughs> we learned here yeah. prior to <laughs> coming. Well, in. this is uh, the original Alexander. And he's yeah. uh, basically uh, exactly the same as uh, Marcus. Ah, okay. I love that Call of Unhealth. So it's uh, basically mass buffing and uh, a right. little rotten touch on the side. Yeah, and you're going to use uh, the heart failure on that guy as well? Yeah, I keep forgetting those. We'll actually uh, we'll go with warp overcharge on this guy. All right, all right. Just to mix it up a bit. Yeah. <laughs> and I think they, they uh, stack the, the unmastered and the mastered version they should stack with each other and do a good amount of respectable damage yeah they might I can't remember it's been ages since I played properly so yeah and then you have uh, what's basically Slavier's former leader yeah I yeah. think this is was uh, Slavier's uh, <laughs> reserve leader Saint yeah. Valentine indeed he does have a nice uh, little mix there mm -hmm. so he does uh, have some uh, good uses. Yeah, maybe you'll but he's switch more, him. Um, yeah, he's uh, 
basically just uh, pure damage. As you can see with 20 strength and 20 weapon skill. Yeah, still follows the general theme of your thralls and your current leader yeah. as well though, so that's always nice. So yeah, so you should be able to mix in nicely with the rest. What are your expectations for the tournament, Greybush? You're coming in, you haven't been part of the tournament team for a while and you're coming in here as an unranked player, not seeded. Ooh, uh, I don't know. Um, I did have a lot of success back uh, when I was playing a bit more actively. Indeed, I know, I know. But then I was uh, mostly maining Skaven, so... So this is uh, going to be quite a bit different. Yeah, it's and going I, to be. I've, I've usually uh, swapped Skaven for a uh, cult, so... So now we're going to try a sort of a middle ground between, in between them. <laughs> yeah, well it's going to be really fun to see you uh, com coming back to the tournament scene and see what you can do here. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, uh, thank you so much for showing off your warband and good luck in the tournament. Thanks.